Here we have a set of switches, one controls the lights and one controls the fan. I'll be going into the switch box and replacing the fan switch with this device, which is a moisture sensing fan switch. This particular brand is Dewstop. I'm sure there are other brands out there that work as well, but I'll leave you the URL and you can look them up, decide for yourself. As always, check your local codes and please hire a licensed electrician if you have any doubts at all. Before starting any electrical work, always make sure that the power is off at the circuit panel. And obviously a good way to check is just to toggle switches back and forth and if the lights don't come on and the fan doesn't come on, then you know there's no power. Another handy tool to have is this device, which is a voltmeter. And if there, there was electricity running through it, this device would blink repeatedly and would make beeping noises repeatedly. And as you can see, it is not. That means there's no electricity running through this game box. Judging from what I can tell here, I suspect that, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I suspect that this is the line wire. This is the wire that goes to the circuit panel. It goes into this pigtail, and this wire continues on down the circuit. And this wire here obviously powers the two devices. Now what we did is we went back to the circuit panel, turned the power on, and with a voltmeter, just wanted to check to make sure which wires are running hot. And if it is, it's going to blink and beep repeatedly. This should not because it toggles off and this is going to the light and this is going to the fan and sure enough. So this confirms what uh, we suspected earlier was the setup. Now that the power is off at the circuit panel, we can move forward with our connections. Another thing you could do to make sure you don't get your wires mixed up is to make labels. Now we're ready to do our electrical surgery. My preference is to always connect to the existing pigtail. So I'm cutting the original wire that powered both switches and uh, I'll be cutting it right after the first terminal. So in the end, I'll have two separate black wires. The first black wire is connected to the fan switch and the second uh, separate black wire is connected to the light switch. So for the fan switch, I already hooked up the ground wire to the box, then the neutral or white wires to the neutral or white pigtail then the black wire to the black pigtail. That leaves a lone black wire that I'm attaching from the pigtail to the light switch. So I just wanted to kind of go through the connections with you a little bit. Um, this is a light switch here. It's connected to this pigtail. It's always running hot. And this line is going out to the light itself. As far as this moisture sensing switch goes, um, it's pretty self-explanatory because it actually, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it actually has, uh, it indicates what connection goes to what. So the red goes to the fan, power, again, to this pigtail, it's running hot, and neutral goes to neutral, and ground, which is this green wire, goes to the ground. So that's essentially uh, the connections right here. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna carefully put everything back into the box. To recap, here's a graphic representation of our final connections. And the reason for that is so that I could show you in a simple way uh, how the wiring um, was laid out so that conceptually you get a better idea. To some do-it-yourselfers this is simple but to others it may not. So always call a licensed electrician or a qualified professional if you have any doubts. Now that I removed all labels, check that my connections are tight and carefully push the wires back in. I'm screwing the fan and light switches into the box. Last is screwing in the wall plate. Back to the circuit panel, turn the power on and you're done. So if you like this video, share it, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and we'll see you down the road.